Alrighty, Starfleet, today's mission log is deep cover. Let's go. Ah! First time. For a pretty rough establishment. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. I also see that you mined on Vectera, and yeah. now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Fine. We'll pretty much go over. Let's just get to the point. I will. When I'm ready. Oh my god. Now that we have that out of the way, long waited conversation. Myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? Why don't you tell me? UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem the Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. Oh, like I said, when you're selling, let me off the hook, and I'm listening. Whatever you're selling, let me off the hook, and I'm listening. Smart decision. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get so you're looking for me inside, to be a double we agent? We're finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. Okay. You want me to risk my neck to go undercover for you? This sounds so personal. Why can't the USC send in there and we'll wipe down the Crimson Fleet? Not for me. For yourself. For myself? Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UCC Stiff, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. That sounds. I didn't realize this was part of the USF code of ethics. Doesn't look like I have much of a choice. Have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You going to work with me? Or should I find someone else? Yeah, I guess we'll just work with you, because, uh... You just forget it. I'd rather take my chances in jail. Uh, how do you know I can even handle this type of operation? Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. 
I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Can I just go back to my objective? So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Going in all alone, infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. But still, it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Excuse me. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship, and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Way to go. Nope, I just don't care. I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, To walk to me. Sis Def Marines are the best of the best. I don't know about that. Yes. <clears throat> ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sis Def's nerve center, dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. We'll see. We're gonna need more than one ship to eliminate the entire fleet. Impress the ship, but I don't see where I fit in. This is me shooting my way off this isn't ship. Uh, I don't have any weapons or anything, and there's far outnumbered, so I don't think I can do that. Uh, I don't see where Whether I fit this in. ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information evidence and expose their weaknesses the catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application getting inside is going to take some finesse okay i assume you're already a plan of mine it takes more than fitness to catch attention for a more direct approach I assume you've chosen me because i'm expendable i do our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the crimson fleet through sersha Borden. One of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Okay, sounds simple enough. That doesn't sound like a... Sound like an island plan to me. She probably sniffed the narc from a sector away. Where did you get the contraband? That's Aurora hard. is a Class A controlled substance that's illegal to transport outside of Neon, a city on Voli. Get caught with this stuff aboard a ship, and you're looking at some serious fines. Okay. Sure, sounds simple enough. That doesn't sound like... Oh, man. Well, it's the best we've got. Yeah. Once you block your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. I'm gonna have to wait and I'll get it done. Um, it's a lot to absorb, you have a problem. Eager to get going? Good. 
Remember, yeah, this entire operation here. rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I'll do my best. I'm just doing this for the money. I'm guessing it's too late to back out of the deal if I get over my head. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. Look. Pay me before now, you then. begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself fun to stray all. too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. Too far. Don't exactly do. Yeah. Straight too far from the path. Well. You better learn quick. Otherwise, I'll start looking for someone to take your place. Okay. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. I'm not in the What happens if I get arrested for undercover? Yeah, what happens if I get arrested? For your own safety. Nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the Vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. Dismissed. Yes. What? <clears throat> Ali? See all that chest candy on Commander Ikande? That means he's seen some shit. Alright. Did I not talk to the right person? I just want to get to the planet so I can, like, get some more superpowers, you know? But, you know Hello. Just... Oh. Pardon. Back in basic training, I had the record for fleet kills. Alright. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. All right. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Sure. So basically, you want me to steal from thieves. That's if I'm accepted into the Crimson Fleet. You better make it, because Commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground. Yeah, including blackmailing me. Computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. There's something incriminated data out there. I'll find it. Uh. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Uh, I see my fair share of violence. I'm no hero. I'm here because I have no choice in talking about it. I don't really want to talk about it. Then you'll understand why it's so important that this operation is successful. Yeah. Anyway, before I let you go, there's just one more thing. What? Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return as compensation for your efforts. Oh, so you can. That's very generous. I don't need payments, so I do credits. Now you're speaking my language. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. Pretty much. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. 
Cool. Let me know if you need anything else. Is hey, there well, anything else I can out. answer before you proceed to the next phase of your mission? Excuse you me. Know. Hey. I guess I need to go in that room. The lieutenant wants those reports on our desk. Never mind. Sorry. Thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. Shh. Hey, I'm just getting out of this prison. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Here to sell, but I'm looking for you. I brought something that interests the Clemson feet. I can unload a sensitive ship. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. Yeah. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Take a look at this sample. I'm looking to sell ship in Aurora. Take a look at this hmm. sample. Aurora, huh? <clears throat> nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? What? We can't handle an appointment with someone who can. I thought the trade authority would buy anything. This. All I'm going to point at is the ceiling with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might. Well, bend the rules a little bit. Mm -hmm. well, let's, um, <clears throat> refuse to pay for that. What if I blow your brains out and ask someone else? <laughs> I have to pay just to find out somewhere to sell my shipment. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone oh. who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Oh, look at that. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. Okay. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, you're welcome. Just gotta find hey, this guy. For anything in particular? Interesting. I don't think the stuff that I'm trying to find you've got, unfortunately. Found you. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Samples. Let me move some of this. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Oh, well, you're the uh, one yelling. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Okay. No problem. Just never said anything about that. Forget it. I'll just take the ship somewhere else. Who is this we and us? 
Yeah, it gives us a three, huh? Yeah, no Right problem. down to business! And no small talk. I like it. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. Gotcha. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. I want that money back. I've dealt with a few drunks in my day, shouldn't be a problem, all right. Get it done, just pay off his debt so we can get down to business. I don't want to pay off his debt. I dealt with drugs for it, shouldn't be a Sounds problem. Sounds like we're speaking the same language. Yeah. His name's Carl yeah. Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Okay. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Let's go get some guys Thank you from residential area so that we can uh, talk to them, I guess. Something I can help you with? Yep. Here it collects. Adler Camp. Who the heck is that? Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home. Wash off the dust. Stop and playing relax. these games, bro. This has been fun. So, whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm an <laughs> uh, Hey, hey, I'm only kidding with you. Yeah, now, no, please, please, give me a second to think. Oh yeah. Oh. Ah, oh. wait. You mean that Adler? Oh, all of a sudden, yeah. you know, huh? Sorry. I it's thought you were now. talking about someone else. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I told oh, him dear. I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. <laughs> I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? That's not huh? good enough. That's not good enough. What the heck do you want me to do, then? Huh? I've... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? I'll pay out the debt for you. Persuade. I'm trying to play in games. Attack. So attack's not going to be good right now. I'm hurting badly for credits. Uh, persuade. I'm trying to play in games. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. It sucks. Sure. I, I guess I, I could ask for a seven-day shift. I don't know. Come on, you must have some ready. Why the hell would I deplete my savings? To pay off a stock like Adler Kemp? Uh, come on! Well? No. I, I guess not. But maybe I was hoping he'd show a little mercy. Hmm? I don't think he's going to. You shouldn't have racked up that like this in the first place. I suppose. It's just that, well, I, I didn't have much of a choice. Bruh, we always have Please. a choice. Tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got the credits. Peace be with you. There's nothing like seeing old soul coming from the big window. All right, a little bit of running back and forth, get some credits for the thug. Only in 
employees of Deimos Staryard Mining Division are authorized to mine resources in and around Sidonia. Can't believe we're still playing on track track. Have something for me? Yeah, I got your credits, brah. There, would you look at that. I You're welcome. I knew that was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Yeah, it's... I thought getting the money would be enough. Well, damn. If you want to make a name for yourself in this racket, you can't pull any punches. Still, you got my credits back, so it's not a complete loss. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? Yeah, if you think I can handle it, yeah, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested? Come on. You're not shopping for real estate here. I'm offering you a crack at some real money. So can you handle it or what? Yeah, sure, I'll just do it. They, they can handle me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Okay. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. No, oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place.